Well, while most modern day appliances are now manufactured on a massive scale, there are still some things being made by hand. Mike Dalton caught up with a broom maker, John Wright. Across the bridge in the early settled Hunter River town of Morpeth is the workshop of John Wright, the broom maker. Given she's a small town, John's not too hard to find. If anyone wants to know where Wrights are, they've only got to go to the pub at Morpeth. And they'll <laughs> <laughs> or mate, I'll find the street sign outside your farm. Yeah, which that's says right. Wrights Road. Right. The original Wright was the son of a first fleeter, and since claiming their block on the other side of the then punt, they have been as fertile as the rich alluvial plain they have farmed since then. Seven generations worth. But it is the fifth generation that has turned their hand to broom making. All the gear I've got is over 100 years old. I, my broom binder over there has a, a date on it, 1878. So the way I make brooms would be the way they would have made them in the early days. Until recent decades, the planes that fan from the river would be right each summer with the millet, the stuff of stiff brooms. And I remember as a child my father growing millet and all the other farmers around grew millet. And in the towns surrounding these plains, the broom making industry thrived. And then there were none. Plastic brooms came on the market and uh, but, but the vir virtually stopped farmers growing millet overnight. And, uh, but, but there's no substitute for a good millet broom anyway. But John Wright keeps the flame of manufacturing alight and his handcrafted, personally signed brooms sell so well that it's a wee problem for John. I know you're not happy about us being here because no, you have to make more brooms, mate. I don't need the advertisement, so if anyone sees this show and they want a broom, I'm afraid they'll have to wait quite a while. I would try one last time to get my hands on a Wright millet broom and it seems harder to acquire than a Birkin bag in turquoise. Well, when would be the best time to come and hunt down one of your, your brooms? Well, I'll try me next year, I suppose. Next year, mate? Yes, yes. Crikey, you got a backlog. Oh, it's embarrassing. What a gorgeous story, Mike Dalton reporting there, and what an artist. You just grab one of those brooms to scratch your back, wouldn't you? Like that dog, happy as Larry.